to my channel. Good day, okay? We are asked to simplify 1 over 3 raised to the power of 5n times 9 raised to the power of n minus 1 times 10 7 raised to the power of n plus 1. This is a very easy something. Come on, let's do this together, okay? Now, listen, I'm going to give you a very simple method and a very simple uh, teaching that you will understand. This is what we have, okay? Looking at this, first of all, this is indices. Whenever you hear indices, the first thing that you will try to do is to balance the base. What does that mean? It means that try to put all of them in the same base. Looking at this now, we have 3 raised to the power of 5n. 3 is the lowest base here. You shake. Is there anything you can do to 9 to get 3 raised to the power of something? Is there anything you can do to 27 to get 3 raised to the power of something? Yes, there is. Because I can rewrite this now as what? 1 over 3 raised to the power of 5n. Okay? Times, instead of me to write sign, I'll write 3 raised to the power of 2. Because 3 raised to the power of 2, that is 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is what? 9. So instead of me to write 9, I'm going to write 3 raised to the power of 2. Remember your n minus 1. Okay? Times, this 27 now is same thing as 3 raised to the power of 3. Okay? So I'm going to replace this 27 with 3 raised to the power of 3 into n plus 1. Now, let us continue. So, this is what I actually have here. Let me rewrite it here. <clears throat> I have 1 over 3 raised to the power of 5n times 3 raised to the power of 2 brackets n minus 1 times 3 raised to the power of 3 brackets n plus 1. Okay, we are now going to rewrite this. Then, note, I want you to note something. If you have like 1 over 2, it's the same thing as 2 raised to the power of minus 1. Okay, if you want to remove the 1 over, you are going to introduce negative sign as power. Now, as when you have 1 over 5, it's the same thing as 5 raised to the power of minus 1. So I want to do that to this place so that everything will be without this 1 over. Okay, so that means I'm going to write, introduce negative sign to the power to remove 1 over of this. So I'm going to write 3 raised to the power of minus 5n. Okay, times 3 raised to the power of 2 times n will give me 2n. 2 times minus 1 will give me minus 2, okay, times 3. 3 times n will give me 3n plus 3 times 1 will give me 3. Now, I want you to pay close attention to what I'm about to do. There is this law of indices, and this law states that when you have something like a raised power of n times a raised power of n, that is same thing as a raised power of n plus n. Let me bring it home. For example, if you have 3 raised power of 2, times 3 raised to the power of 3, okay? Okay, let me not confuse. Say 3 raised to the power of 4. That you are going to pick one of the bases, which is 3. And you are going to add the powers, which is what? 2 plus 4. So your final answer will now be 3 raised to the power of 6. So we are going to relate this now to what we have here. We have 3, 3, 3. So we are going to pick one 3. And we are going to add their powers. Now watch me do that. So you are going to pick one 3, which is this. Let me add the powers. Minus 5n plus 2n minus 2 plus 3n plus 3. Okay? You are adding the powers. Now, let us go ahead and solve this. This is equal to 3 raised to the power of... We are going to collect like terms now. We have minus 5n. We have plus 2n. We have plus 3n. Now, let's collect... Look for numbers. We have minus 2 and we have plus 3. So this is what we have, okay? Let's solve it now. So we have 3, okay? Minus 5n, minus 5n, plus 2n plus 3n. That is 2n plus 3n will give us what? 5n plus 5n, okay? Minus 2 plus 3 will give us 1 because minus 2 plus 3 is same thing as what? 3 minus 2, which is 1. So it's going to be plus 1. You understand now let's solve this this sentence has 3 raised to the power of minus 5n plus 5n is 0 right minus 5n plus 5n is 0 it's just like saying if you say minus 5 plus 5 is 0 because sentence has 5 plus 5 minus 5 which is 0 so we are going to have 0 plus 1 which is sentence as 3 raised to the power of 1 right if this is the First time you have seen me or you're coming across my channel, please, I would advise you click on the subscription button. 
because if you really love what i'm doing and you need to see more of it that is what you should do okay then on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video all right so this is three raised power of one that means that our final answer is what three do have a lovely day and bye